What's going on, guys? J freaking C here. And we're about to get down on some Monster Hunter. I haven't played Monster Hunter in a cool ass minute. Pretty excited. Let's hop right in. <sighs> From what I understand, this game will be a long one. So we'll see how it goes. It might not. We'll see how it goes. I tend to not finish games that are long, but I'm going to try. We're gonna <coughs> we're gonna hop right in. You might see a, a, a pop up too. I am installing um, another game. Let's see. Ye, you can see it right here. Wow, it's installing. So until that finishes installing, it could pop up on the screen. I'll be sorry if it does. It might block some uh, subtitles. I'll be. I apologize in advance if it happens. Sisters and brothers of the Fifth Fleet, it's time. I'll keep my farewell brief. Never was much with words. Once you board this ship, there's no turning back. The next ground your feet will touch will be that of the New World. If any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now and let no one judge you. Very well. Then sail safe and strong, and may the Sapphire Star light your way. World. Monster Hunter World. Jesus. Yo, did you hear? We're almost there. Look at sweet mohawk. New world by the horns. Don't know about you. It feels like ages since I left home to join the commission. So. This? Leave you me. I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happened. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way! So are we! Hey! Tell us your name! That cat is freaking awesome. Alright. <laughs> Our cat is awesome. So, <laughs> yes. We got a lady in white and a cat in white. Awesome. This game's already starting out amazing. So, how about a toast? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm a cat. To the A-list and the commission. <laughs> so, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. After running the research commission for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the Fifth Fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree! Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? Nopers. Listen to that. 
<sighs> Getting rough out there. The waves are picking up. That's gotta mean landfall. You're on the A list, right? Is this my bro? Meow do do. <laughs> what? I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Holy crap, dude. A giant monster already? <laughs> Look at my cat, dude. Heidi. Oh, wow. Oh, wee. Jesus Christ. Wow. What are we doing? All right. What is this? Hello? Anybody there? So you can like sprint? See it. It's we have stuck. To do something. What are we gonna do? It's not safe here. This way. All right. Uh oh. Oh no. Watch yourself. What? We're climbing. Oh my god, watch out for rocks. Hurry. I am. You're the one who's going slow, dude. Which way are we supposed to go? Am I going the wrong way? This is insane. Shoot. I don't think this is the ground. I think we're standing on a monster. We're gonna ride one of those things? Hell yeah. How do you jump? I got you, bro. Hey, look at that. PUBG. Ready to start. Holy crap, dude. That thing is ugly. Ooh. 
Was, we're in Jurassic Park for sure. Damn it. <laughs> Our freaking cab driver got tired of carrying us. What? That's convenient. Hey there, partner. Come look at this. Alright. Burp. I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. Nice. I'll shove it in my butt. <clears throat> Looks like we're right around here. The Research Commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. The map should help us find our way. What is there stuff in here? I can't go in the tent? Are you serious? Come here! Hold on. I'm looking around. Nope. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. All right. Oh, uh, lordy. Dinosaurs. We are in the ancient forest now. The Research Commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. Yeah? Let's get going? Do we have to worry about fighting monsters? I don't think I have a weapon. According to the map, to get to HQ, we need to... Hmm. Can we just go straight? seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. It's good. I don't have to worry about them trying to kill me. It what about... like we need to go around. What about those little things? Oh, I see. She was saying we had to go around. Over here. Wait, 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 wait. Something's up. This is on my map. Scout flies are gathering. Hell yeah, I got a vitality. What's a scout fly? What a weird plant. Which plant? There's one over here too. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. So the scout flies are those shiny dots? I guess. Alright. I'm with it. We can push our way through these vines. We made it. Shoot. 
Damn, he's called in the pack. He called in the squad. Holy crap. I don't have a weapon. Come on, this way. Hurry. Which way? Stay like that? To remain hidden. Do they know I'm here? Like, they can't be that stupid. Can they? I guess they are. Huh. Quietly. Works for me. Okay, the coast is clear. Let's get going while we still can. What? Do we get an achievement for that? The art of camouflage. Hmm. I want to go. Nothing can stop us. Nothing. Nothing at all. Do I have to like grip on the vines or can I just jump down? Just walk off like she did. Oh, okay. It does work that way. <laughs> I'm glad the game plays itself a little bit. I'm stuck. There we go. There's something here. What is it? What is this track? There's more over there. Let's check it out. Over where? Okay. Uh oh. Nice. Me. This way, hurry. Okay, let's go. Move. That dude's sword is as big as his body. At least the monster's chasing them and not me. Somehow I got behind the lizard. Move. That is not oh. That T-Rex is eating that other lizard. Alright. We'll just Yeah. Run right by them. Come on. <coughs> Jump. <laughs> Her face. Hell yeah. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to be running around in my underwear. Hey. Let's go. Okay. Amazing, ain't it? Just look at this gate. It's like nature meant for us to build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> the rest of the fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. Be right back. You're alive. Had a rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. 
<laughs> All's well that ends well. <sighs> hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Hey, Come on. Uh, catch you later. <laughs> This here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people. The stuff. Incredible. Right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring. Scholars to do the research. Technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Welcome to Astera. Says, I'm glad you made it somehow. I knew you would, though. When you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I'm being pulled in about eight different directions at once. We'll cover the important matters at Council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. I expect you two to be there, of course. Your reputations precede you. The Guild spoke highly of you as individuals. Think what you can do as a team. And before I forget, your furry friend was looking for you. Poor thing washed up not too long ago. My cat. Thank God he's still alive. Go ahead and have a look around Astera. A horn will sound when it's time to go for counsel. Well, off you, well, off you go. All right. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Nice. Give me that tour. Where's my cat? This is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. Maybe. Next is the smithy. It's this way. <clears throat> this is pretty crazy cool. Like, it looks crazy. Like, damn. Sick. Hmm. the commission's fifth fleet right the old man in charge my grandfather was with the first that was a long time ago me I'm not with any fleet born and bred right here never even been to the old world so this dude said he's been living here his whole life this is where you can craft so people have been here for a while. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. I dig it. Look at this place. Want to check it out? <clears throat> what are we checking out exactly? I don't get it. Ooh, it's toasty in here. <laughs> Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. Is that a little kid? Or like a dwarf? All right, let's go. To the canteen. The canteen? I am so there. <laughs> oh, this lady likes to get hammered. Hmm. Here. Over here. <clears throat> Is that my cat? No. My cat is wearing white. Hmm. Hey, over there. My boy. Heidi. Hey, you. <laughs> I knew you pulled through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty ex excited about my cat. Right. They're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. <clears throat> you are all here. Let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, 
The Fifth Fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group. Worthy comrades who will help see the Research Commission's long efforts finally rewarded. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the Commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Dude, look at that freaking cat. He's like a scar on his eye. He's like a pirate. Ugh, that's freaking awesome. I can tell you honestly. A little story about me. My first cat when I was a kid. My favorite cat. His name was Pirate. Like, so that's awesome. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes them tick. And right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The Fifth Banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right, dismissed. Mm -hmm. Not even here a whole day and already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, let's go into the Jagras problem. Uh, but you'll need a weapon first. Hell yeah. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. Show me the way to my home. Is this it? My room. Look at my sick ass cat, dude. He's like a sword on his back, too. <laughs> All right, let's look around. He yeah. some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. Oh, yes, different weapons offer different combat experiences. Great swords hit with devastating force. While the sword and shield allow for quick mobile flurries. The heavy bow gun, while unwieldy, fires powerful blasts and so on. Choose any one weapon and take it to the field. Uh, you can visit the training area after equipping a weapon by speaking to the housekeeper in your room. There, you can practice with your chosen weapon as much as you like. Armor sets are, compromised, are comprised of five pieces. Each piece offers some amount of defense plus equipment skills to aid you in your hunts. You can mix and match pieces however you like to suit your playstyle. Use LTRT to view your gear's stats and skills. You can save equipment loadouts to quickly switch to your favorite gear combinations. Exit. Yes. Alright. Hunter's Knife. This is a sword and shield right here.
a defense-oriented weapon with a variety of shell attacks. Hmm. A close-range weapon with low mobility but powerful attacks. Hmm. A close-range weapon that facilitates fluid combos and evasion. A close-range weapon set that lets you maneuver quickly and guard against attacks. Close-range offensive weapons that are used to deal a rapid flurry of blows. A heavy weapon used to strike monsters at point-blank range and stun them. A weapon that stores energy in its sword form and releases it in its axe form. A weapon that transforms between a long-reaching axe and a powerful sword. A defense-oriented weapon with a variety of shell attacks. A defense-oriented weapon used to approach targets with charges and fancy footwork. A special support weapon hunters use to gain or provide various buffs. A lightweight weapon that lets you vault into the air and control kinsects. A ranged weapon that frees up movement and lets you fire a variety of ammo. A ranged weapon that sacrifices mobility in exchange for powerful attacks. A weapon that lets you charge up power and attack from medium range. I can't use the golder gold drone or the mall drone so this one seems like the most i don't know how to describe a close it range weapon set that lets you maneuver quickly and guard against attacks it seems cool if the guarding works yeah i kind of want to try this one I feel like we have to wear clothes. We might as well just put on all the leather outfit. Alright. So we're, le le we're all... Equip now. Let's talk to Heidi here. Once you're ready, head to the canteen. I'll be there waiting with a quest. You can get more familiar with your weapons at the training area. Just talk to the housekeeper to get started. Who's the housekeeper? Is this the housekeeper? The cat? I know this looks like some old closet that would turn into a makeshift room for you. Uh, for Mew Hunters, but that's not the case, I promise. It's fully furnished, which, with everything Meowsters need, you have your very own equipment box where you can manage and change your gear. I just hope you don't mind changing in front of others because you have roommates. Don't they tell you about that? No. Uh, okay. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, your room also comes with an area to manage your Palico's gear. Uh, right next to your bed, even. Convenient. Oh, one more thing. If you need access to the training area, just come talk to me. I'm here to lend a paw every 24-7. I am to police now that... Now, what does Meowsters need? Let's try this training area. Welcome to the training area. Strike the various objects placed around the area to get a feel for your weapon's moveset. Uh, if you'd like to try a different weapon, you head to the item box to switch equipment. All ammo and coating types are available to try out. Using them or any other consumable items here will not deplete any stock you own. Okay, let's run through the hunting basics. First, ready your weapon. The sword and shield is a close range weapon set that focuses on agility and dodging. And it's great for beginners.
Okay, basic combo. Oh. Hell yeah. Okay. You need to load the slinger with some ammo. See anything useful lying around? You can use that as slinger ammo. Great for getting a monster's attention or creating a... <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. You could shoot little rocks clever, at people. You can use the slinger to distract monsters. Hell yeah. All right, I'm done here. This is boring me. Talk to the handler in the canteen. Okay. Heidi, what can I do for you? Can I make you cool? I guess it's all you get. The spade. I don't want you to wear the hat because then you'll hide your awesome outfit. Or I mean your awesome ears. Yeah, we'll keep you wearing the gloves though. Eh, that's kind of cool. So let's go. 
Let's get out of here, guys. Alright, uh, now that you have access to the armory and provision stockpile, grab what you need. Uh, once you're done, go meet up with the handler in the canteen to sign up for a quest. Handlers sort through the research commission's leads. And the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Is this the handler? Hey! That's the commander. Listen up. There's something important I need to talk to you about. The commission is special, different from your past undertakings. If I had to take a guess, it's not about hunting down the Elder Dragons or punishing them for damage they cause. The commission seeks an understanding of their place in nature and ours. That's the point. The Elder Dragons are nature, and it's as futile to try to punish nature as it is to run from it. Now that's hunting. But knowing nature, now that's something we can do. We're going to face some real challenges. The best course might not always be the clear. What this world needs is harmony. What did these? I admit, was it the clearest, or did I just not read that right? But uh, before you take life and move to defend it, understand it. That's what makes you a hunter. <clears throat> well, sir, thank you. Is this? Who is this? Oh, nice weapon, buddy. I guess that means it's time to get hooked up with some supplies. We carry pretty much everything you need, so if you're ever short on anything, I'm your guy. But as much as I'd love to take all your zenny, it's still a good idea to gather as much as you can while out on the field. I feel like we, we should wait. Like, we don't know what we need at this point. I forget where to go. Okay, so we gotta go up here. Right? All right. Well, I don't need that. I need to find the person, right? Is that the handler? Am I tripping? Are you the handler? You're the chef. What am I doing here? Ah, the handler is my buddy. Okay, partner, time to get down to business. The guild teamed up us up for a reason. From now on, you're my hunter, and I'm your handler. Uh, I'm the bre bread to your butter. Got it? The Fifth Fleet's first mission is to survey the Jagras habitat. Uh, then we gotta cull a certain number of them in order to secure the area. We can depart as soon as you sign up for the Jagras of Ancient Forest quest. You ready? For? A the wild and wondrous new world is waiting for us out there. Post a new quest, dude. Quests involve objectives such as slaying monsters. To get started on a quest, first you have to accept it. Assignments. Complete these missions and advance the story. Uh, optional quests. These include favors for NPCs. More will become available as you meet the necessary requirements. Uh, you could take an optional quest as many times as you like. Investigation. These special quests are issued by the Resource Center and can only be taken a limited number of times. Events. Special ex quests exclusive to online play. <coughs> uh, 
assigned Jagras of the Ancient Forest. Accept. Quest accepted. Uh, you're free to explore it, Stira, until preparations for the quest are complete. Grab a meal at the canteen, shore up your supplies at the provision stockpile, get the latest gear from your smithy or armory, then adjust your equipment and organize your items in the item box. You'll be heading out in the field in no time. Take a look at the upper left corner of the screen. When the quest is ready to begin, you'll see a notification there. Once you're prepared, press the start button at any time to enter standby, and you can go on standby by pressing A at one of uh, Astira's gate. From the party member status menu, select standby and departure. We'll have your party depart on the quest as soon as the preparations are accounted for. Um, if you are the leader of the party, press Y. We'll let the depart first with other members who are on standby. Standby. Ready to part. Wrong button. Hell yeah, me and my freaking cat. Let's go. An hour of game time and we haven't killed a single monster. <clears throat> so we have a time limit of 50 minutes. What? All right, this is our first job. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Rule number <clears throat> one, complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Easy. Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Uh, each quest... Okay. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. Oh, man. We ran into some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? I think we saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? Rule number two. Use the supply box. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready to go. What? All right. Oh, yeah. Hey, partner. <sighs> I want all of these things. Oh, I can't take the empty vial? What the heck? Is there other things for me to take? I guess not. All right. Slay the required man. What was it? Number of Jaggars. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Be careful. What am I being careful for? Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. When you're investigating or gathering items, you generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. I'll mark gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. Oh my god. I guess I'm full of stuff. Which way are we supposed to go? It's getting to be nighttime. That's kind of scary. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. What? How do you do that? So this is where we're supposed to go? A pack of Jagras. Those are the monsters we're after. Let's, Let's see how you hold up. Freaking fight them. Uh. 
I don't know how to take out my sword. Oh, I missed. They're on the run. Don't let them get away. What? Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use them at the smithy. Okay. Well, I'll wait then. Let's go. Whoops. Use whatever you can. Oh, I hit my cat on accident. Don't forget you can guard too. Come on. Keep your distance and use a potion. Oop, wrong button. Let me kill them all before I have to leave. Alright, let me uh, cut them up. What is the timer for? I don't understand. Quest complete. I guess I'll just take them all. Hell yeah, my cat leveled up.
Good to see you. Fine work taking down those Jagras. Hmm. So there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing? I see. Uh -huh. It may be starting <clears throat> it may be starting the ob stating the obvious, but the Jagras aren't the only danger lurking around these parts. We've also received reports of Kestodon herd getting out of hand. This must be all because Zora Magrados Magdoras made landfall. It's got everything riled up. Well, if it's going to be your job to quiet them down, we'd like you to investigate the Kestodon herd and call their numbers. I'm going along. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. Uh, sure. Turn on the voice chat. Why not? All right. Now that you've got some materials, why don't we head over to the smithy to see what you can do with them? Okay. Where is the smithy at? Let's check the map. So this is the canteen. This is the ecological smithy. Zoom in here. So we gotta go up here. Look who's back with materials. Step right up and welcome to the smithy. You'll be needing my services a lot. What I do for you is simple. Whenever you go out in the field and gather materials, I turn those materials into weapons and armor. Uh, drop by whenever you find something new and interesting. Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome present. You can use them to upgrade your weapons or equipment. Uh, you could use monster materials in order to forge and, forge and upgrade equipment at the smithy. Give the materials you earn as quest rewards and, or carve from monsters to smithy to create new equipment for taking on even tougher monsters. First, select the weapon you want to upgrade to. You can use materials to upgrade different weapons. If you want more base weapons to enhance, you can create more by selecting forge equipment or by purchasing them at the armory. Upgrade weapons can also be downgraded. Materials used to upgrade the weapon will be returned to you. Hey, all right. So I can add to it. It gives me oh, levels me up.
Okay, so <clears throat> now that we're all leveled up a little bit, time to hang out with the handler again. Well, should we buy some food? Oven roasting cooks food over the time it takes to complete one quest. For example, if you oven roast some raw meat, once the quest is done, you'll return to find a ration. That's pretty cool. 60 points. What's that? I can't do that one. Cook me some food, damn it. <laughs> Yummy. God damn, she eats like an animal. Nice. All right, let's go talk to the handler. Hey there, partner. Hey, bud. All right. So the next thing we need to take care of are those Kestadon. The chief said he'd be tagging along with us. How about we start our search in the ancient forest and go from there? <gasps> I got some good news. We're handlers post all the leads. We'll find the quest board. You can sign up for a quest there too. So you don't always have to come all the way up here. But then again, you might miss out on all the good eats all the eats up here. You can pick up quests from the quest board too. It lists the same quests that I've got. So don't worry about having to check two places. Good to know. We're on the hunt! Am I doing the wrong thing? I thought we just have to go. Did I forget how to do it? How do I accept the quest? Here we go. Quest accepted. All right, let's go, kitty. Okay, our job is to call a certain number of Kestadon. Recently, their numbers have been getting out of hand. Want to get going? Let's see what's up in here real quick. You already know we need these things. The easy ration. We're on the hunt! Our objective is to research and then thin out the head of the Kestadon that's been building up. Herd of the Kestadon. Uh, we'll need to take out both male and female. Just for reference, you can tell them apart by their head shape. Let's go. Yo. I got a herb. my friend are Kestadon. Let's see you take him out on your own. These big dudes? Oh. 
Are these big boys are kested on? Be careful. Okay, yeah. Oh shoot, what are these? Baby Kestadon? Alright, F it. We'll just go at him. Come here, dude. What the hell hit me? All right, we need to learn how to block better. Yeah. I think my cat got the final blow, dude. That was epic. Not bad. Sorry, Heidi. Are there more? All right. Let's look for another group. Okay. Let me get the stuff from Let's these guys first. The least of your worries. There are a lot bigger monsters lurking in this forest. Be careful. The endemic life around here can come in handy during a hunt. Try to learn as much as you can about them. What the hell's going on? Am I going the wrong way? Oh no, this looks... Yeah, yeah. I guess these weren't Kestadon. I guess I went the wrong. I killed the wrong monster, dude. I feel bad now. So those are them. Be careful. Oh shoot! <laughs> Hell yeah! What a slide! Woo! Man, I thought I blocked. Come on.
dude bullcrap. My cat just got freaked up, man. He went flying. I think the thing might be dead. up our work here wait hey come here i think i found something you gotta wait bro i need to loot all these dead bodies before you that'll happen Giant footprint. Hmm. Look at those Kestodon. Something's up with them. <sighs> oh my god, that thing almost ate it. It did. It swallowed it whole. A no, great no. Jagras. Coming. Take down that great Jagras. If you're not ready, you can return to base and take on the great Jagras quest later. What? Don't attempt to engage a monster when your weapon has lost its sharpness. Your attacks will be weak and easily deflected. Want to get going? Let's look at these skid marks. If you need to call your friends for help. Go to the menu and select SOS Flare to signal them. And How do I go back? Need friends when you go up against some of the tougher monsters. In order for the scout flies to better track a target monster, we need to keep finding traces of it. Like footprints, for example. But how do I go back home? I guess we'll just go and do the quest. Good. You're turning up a lot of clues. Pretty cool.
Okay. We've tracked the Great Jagras enough for the scout flies to lead us to it. You're less likely to lose sight of a monster if you use the focus camera. Do I need to fight this thing already? Like, what am I doing? Yeah, you've mounted the monster. Now's your chance to talk. This is crazy. I'm just beating on him. Hell yeah, I still got back on. Okay, it's down. Now's your chance to get in there and tear it up. Monsters are running away. Use the scout flies as a guide and they'll lead you right to them. We gotta catch this freaking dude. Come on, man. Did I get on him? I think I'm stabbing him in the face, but I can't tell. Come back here. You're not getting away from me. Son of a bee is running. <laughs> oh. 
waiting on me. Damn, I think I dived right into that. God damn it, why is he running? Come on, you like lock on to the stupid son of a bee. Game is pissing me off, dude. Like, why isn't it attacking? Don't tell me he's trying to run away again. Ugh, this is annoying. Can I jump on his back at least? Freak, man.
Oh. The monster's been immobilized. Now's your chance. He just running away again. Oh my god, dude. This is taking forever. Look, the monster's almost done for. Chances are it'll retreat to its nest to recuperate. Where at? Bright moss can be used as slinger ammo. Launch it at walls to eliminate dark areas, like the inside of a cave, for example. Am I going the wrong way? Maybe it's under me? I'm lost as hell. This is pissing me off. Unless this is it. Oh, come on, dude. I wasn't even by it. Get up. Get up and run, you piece of shit. That shit barely gave me anything. Blocking was that you sucky fucking game like you ah there's too many of them
Did that big dude run away? I'm about to give up. I'm about to go back to the fucking base. Ugh. He just keeps running away. Like, this is taking forever. Let's freaking at least loot up this crap. What does the whetstone do? Does it just make your health, your sword health back up? Okay. I guess let's go see what that does. We're definitely about to be dead. Like, we need to freaking get some first aid. This fat fuck. Oh my god, dude, finally! Sorry for yelling, but good god, that took forever. That's like a 30 minute fight right there. Quest complete. I think we got a lead. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out. Ugh, I need to go back to my base. What do you mean, let's check it out? <gasps> hey. <gasps> the hell is that ugly ass thing? A pookie pookie. Well, you were right. There's our mark. What the freak? Something. 
Something's got him agitated. <laughs> Look over there. What in the heck is that? I've never seen anything like it. It's just like you lava. Zora Magdaros? I'd like to find out. But we better report back first. All right? Yeah, let's definitely report back cuz I'm out of health potions and I'm pretty sure my sword is under leveled now. Alright, so, yeah, that was 28 minute freaking fight. That took forever. Let's just take everything. Why not? Hell yeah, we got bonus rewards. We got an achievement. Welcome to the new world. I see. All right, so you think you found something that'll lead us to Zora Magdorus? Well, I'll send some researchers out right now, but not with a pissed off Pookie Pookie hanging around. Uh-huh. Pookie Pookie territory. <laughs> That's pretty deep in the forest. We'll better be equipped to take it on. Uh, once our team for the resource center is done rebuilding the forest camp, once it's ready, we make our move. Until then, we do everything we can to help them get that camp up and running let's get to it once the camp is set up you can go after that puke puke hmm i wonder where the resource oh, he called is. it a puke puke i called it a pookie pookie i guess it's whatever you want to call it i can tell you what i do i want to go upgrade my shield Alright, we got a new sword.
Hell yeah. Upgrade that BZ. So for this one, we need some other stuff, don't we? Oh, here we go, though. So to upgrade it again, we need something that we don't know what it is yet. Holy crap, dude. Oh man, we gotta hook this boy up. My cat's getting a new sword too. Hell yeah. Give him the sweet Jagras armor. Hell yeah, he's gonna be decked out. Oh, look at the dude, he looks awesome. I'm so stoked. Can we make forge equipment? I guess we used up all our freaking Jagras stuff. We have to kill another great Jagras. We got bone though. Oh man, we can make some sick ass bone stuff. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh, what, dude? Oh my God, that looks sick. Hey, I don't like the Jagras thing. It's not that cool looking. We should make the bone one. It looks awesome. Or this one. I like this one. Yes. We got a sick ass like a cape. Do we want that? I don't think so. I mean, does it add? That hat is ugly. Damn. <laughs> the bone one's pretty sick. But I don't like hats, man. I like my freaking face to show. I guess we'll get these. We can make all these, huh? Oh, man.
I kind of want these instead. Put on these pants. I'm gonna speak to the provisions manager now. That's back downstairs, I think. I got a sick ass cape, though. Hello. Oh, you are too good to me. Well, Fiverr, is it true you're going to help us or build the camp? <clears throat> <coughs> that is excellent news. I hope you're as good as they say you are. If so, we'll have plenty of work for you. After all, the commission studies lots of things, not just the elder dragon you came here with. Maintaining and improving the base is a full plate of tasks in itself. Can't study anything without a proper HQ, after all. The resource center here is in charge of divvying up all that work and making sure it gets done. <laughs> so back to business, your job is to establish a camp. Go on an expedition into the ancient forest to find a viable campsite and make sure it's safe. If any monsters have decided to do any camping in your spot, you'll need to, you to chase Don't them off. Let me down. Got it? The bounty is for establishing the camp. The resource center oversees research requests and manages the resources required for the investigations. To do bounties, you need to register beforehand, whereas delivery requests can be completed just by handing an item. When you unlock investigations during quests and expeditions, check in with the resource center to make them available as special quests. You can view resource center information at any time from the start menu under resource center. Hooray. Okay, let's get this expedition underway. Meet me at the gate. For this expedition, we need to head to the ancient forest. We can expand expeditions as we delve further into the new world. Pretty good incentive to explore, right? Mm -mm. Not yet. I need to buy things. I need more potions. <laughs>
All right, so I guess now we're all out. All right, expeditions are very open-ended and are great if you want to freely explore the world. Expeditions have the following special characteristics. There's no time limit. You will not fail no matter how many times you faint. There are no completion conditions or rewards, but you will keep any materials you gather and points you earn, and monsters will depart the field after a set time elapses. All right, so Let's look for the campsite. I don't have anything in my supply box. If I get to the campsite first, or if you're lost, open up your map or use your scout flies to track me. Whenever you leave the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. Canteen here serves food that will give you a boost for the hunt ahead. Feed me, damn it. Oh, is my Oh, the cat's also eating. <laughs> I thought he was, like, dancing to the music. That's awesome. Whoa. Cat, why'd you go on the ground? You're crazy. Let's go. Where's my whetstone? Mm -hmm. 
Oh shoot, this guy's fishing. We gotta try some of this out. How's it hooking? Gotta say, there's no better way to spend the day than fishing. I'm the lucky guy. The commission is put in charge of studying fish and fish-like creatures here in the new world. Well, let me tell you, I love fishing. I live for it. I fish in my sleep. I sleep with... Ahem. <clears throat> all right, I already caught all the old world's fish, every last one. So when they offered me a job here, I accepted hook, line, and sinker. Oh, anywho, my life here can't be all work, so I've been looking for a chum who loves the lure as much as I do. What do you say, Hunter? Are you game? If you're interested, just give me a holler. I'd like to see what you're made of. Ah, uh, you know. Let's try to fish. How do you know when you're going to catch one? Oh. I caught a fish, dude. Hell yeah. Angling for a bite. Catch your first fish. Very nice. Dude, this is that's pretty easy. Alright, enough fishing for now. Let's get out of here. Here we go. Just killing these dudes. Oh, my raw meat is maxed out. What? Can I put stuff inside the my little chest over here? Can I put raw meat in there? That way I'm not maxed out. Hmm. I guess not. Hmm. Over here. Hey, bro. Who is this? Hello. What? Oh, hello. I'm a researcher from the commission. My field is the Grimlike... Gr Grimalkins. Yes, Grimalkins. Grimalkins are a type of Linian that are not native to the New World. I wish to communicate with them and learn their lingo. But these creaky old bones just can't keep up with the flighty little chaps. Perhaps you could be of help. 
by my gnarly knuckles if you could chase after them. We'd track them down in the time it takes you to say, meow. What do you say? You'd be doing old man a favor. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Where is my objective, though? Hmm. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Alright, I got it now. We should just Over jump here. down here anyways. We got it. Some unique mushrooms. go towards the objective I'm afraid I'm gonna go somewhere where I'm gonna get murdered you know You can assign a target destination for your scout flies on the map. How do you, you do that? Fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map.
Over here. Now this is interesting. Let's report our findings to everyone at the resource center when we get back. The hell is that? <laughs> well, hi there. Fancy meeting someone new out here. I'm the editor in charge of the field guide. It's my job to learn and disseminate as much as possible about the endemic life here. <clears throat> the endemic life here includes small animals, fish, basically. Anything that won't try to eat you. And I love them all to pieces. My research takes tasks are to capture, observe, study, verify, record, record, I mean, and play with an, any endemic life I find. I'm a busy bee. The new world is literally crawling with undiscovered specimens. I don't even know where to begin. I don't have enough hands. Ooh, yeah. Enough hands? Oh yeah, what, what if you became an assistant? If you capture any endemic animals, you could le even let them loose in your Room for some first-hand observation. Who could say no? But don't answer just yet. Think it over. Then come see me again. I promise the little critters will bring you nothing but joy. <clears throat> I think that's what the capture net is for. It's for the little animals. Over here. All right. Found some more footprints. This is this is where I'm supposed to be going, right? Get that herb. How come I can't talk to this bro? Oh, we gotta go up here. Kulu Yaku. That boy is ugly. Well, if we don't take care of that past, the camp won't last a night. Oh, yeah. Your scout flies will guide you to monsters, grimalikins, and gatherable items. Use the cursor to select your target you want to seek, then press the R S to place a pin on it. Your scout flies will take it from there. During expeditions, simply collecting monster tracks will not gauge your scout flies guide feature. To do so, make sure the map pins. So I have to to return to base from an expedition. Open the wildlife map and switch to the world map. Then select Astera. Should I go after that thing? How do I go to the world map? Oh, X. Okay. Let's go after this bird monster. Is he coming?
I think it was like above me or below me or something. What the hell? I'm going in circles. Yeah, we gotta chase him. Dude, chasing them sucks. I don't like when they run away. Damn, why are there two of them?
God damn it. It keeps on running away. Where'd it go? Ugh, this freaking thing is chasing me now. I think I'm like doing some damage. All right, let's go, Heidi. What the hell? Where is it? Where'd it go? Here it is. Oh, come on. Taking hits like that repeatedly will stun you, meaning you won't be able to move. Stara from the world map so we can go home. Jesus Christ, dude, that took a second. Did I get all the parts? Oh. It's a piercing pot, a powerful type of slinger animal. That's able to pierce the thick shell of monsters. The Jagras. Let's get this thing. A large doodle.
Ooh, bones too. There's all kinds of stuff over here. Alright, I guess we're done now. Time to go back to the other thi the other place we were supposed to go. We could take off this uh the world map or waypoint. And we need to go to the world map and go to Astera. Mm, trade yard, I guess. Heading back. Alright, we gotta make sure we take it all. Magnifique. Thank you for making the campsite safe. We went ahead and got the camp all set up. It's yours to use as Don't you like. And now that I know that you, what you're made of, Fiverr, uh, I hope I can talk you into taking jobs for me more often. Hell yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So we should go and upgrade our stuff real quick. Or at least see if there's any upgrades to get. Can't do that yet. Can I upgrade my armor though? Nope, I guess not. I guess that mission didn't really count as like a mission. This is the airship engineer. I think what I'll do is go back to my home and maybe save the game. I don't even know if the game saves on its own or what. Well, here we go. Save.
All right, well, I'm done. Um, that was the first day of playing this game, dude. Pretty nice. It's pretty fun so far. I mean, I like running around killing things, that's for sure. So, it's kind of... Maybe I'm just under level or what, but when the monsters run away, ugh, that is annoying. And it takes a long time to catch them, but... This is pretty cool. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time.